A friend shared some statements recently that, from a website that she saw, and they were about Jesus. It was clear that the author considered Jesus to be a good teacher, to be a great moral leader, and to be a very important man, but nothing else. It made me think about how I became a Christian. You know, I had some church exposure as a child, but when I went to college, I specialized in all of the biological sciences. And you may have noticed that when biology is taught, life came from chance. Life came as a series of random genetic mutations. There's no God, there's no creator, and it's all just random. And that worked for me, so I accepted it. Years after college, I attended a faith study, thanks to my now husband and his daughter, and it was taught by a man who was a PhD in marine biology. He focused on the evidence, not the scientific evidence that he and I were used to, but the historical evidence about the New Testament. And it turns out the New Testament is the most strongly supported ancient text that we have, with thousands of copies of manuscripts. It is almost certainly the actual words that were written by the eyewitnesses and the reporters who talked about Jesus and what he said. This doctor, Don Byerly, then delved into the things that Jesus claimed. And you may know that Jesus claims pretty often to be God's son, to be in the image of God, and even to be God. So if we can trust the New Testament fairly presents Jesus and who he claimed to be, we're faced with a question. C.S. Lewis pointed out that Jesus either had to be a madman, deluded into believing he was God, or he was lying for his own reasons, or it was true. I remember coming home from that class and looking at Al and saying, what if it's true? And he said, what do you mean? I responded saying, what if it's true that Jesus really said he was God? What if it's true he is I knew then and there, I couldn't just accept him anymore as a great moral teacher or a good man. I had to wrestle with the question. So my question to you today is, what if it is true? What if Jesus really lived and taught and claimed to be God and is? What if he really died to heal the rift between us and a very real God? What if he rose again so we could have eternal life? What if it's true? What would you have to do with that information? What difference would it make in your life? And if you have questions that keep you from believing in Jesus, maybe you should look into it. Read your Bible, ask others, go to the Don Byerly Faith Study. There's a link in our show notes. Reach out to Good News at Home. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Don't leave that question hanging. It might be the most important question you never asked. Thank you for watching. Aloha, and I really hope to see you there.